Hello everyone. Today we're going to show you how to use custom drops editor on your Minehut server. Ah! Kill it! <gasps> I got a diamond. What did it drop? It dropped a what? diamond. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> nice. I got a diamond. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, have you ever wanted a different drop for a mob that you thought was useless? Zombies suck. Yeah. yeah. Who wants very, rotten flesh? Like, what is rotten flesh even yes. good for? You know, I agree. Yes, they should Kara. do something with rotten flesh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kara. I would always yes, Kara. love to have that. Wow. Yes, Kara. Every question you ask is, is, is the perfect question, and yay. <laughs> All hell well, let me show you how to do this thing that you want. <laughs> so first you download the custom drops editor uh, plugin, and then go into your Minehut server, do slash C drops, and we're going to edit some things. We'll do a we'll do an easy one. Say uh, if you want to kill a pig, you don't want to have to cook the flesh after. So let's just have it be auto cooked for you. We're going to edit a mob specifically. You can like edit a block and edit some other stuff. We're going to edit the mob. Go to the pig egg. Uh, we're going to toggle vanilla drops. We're going to turn those off for now. So we're going to turn off for the world, the nether, and the end. Back to previous menu. Um, here you want to go to the top blue tile, add new item. We're going to put cooked pork chop in there. Go back to previous screen. Click on the, oh wait, no, sorry. You click on the cooked pork chop. Uh, right now, it is default as a 0.1% drop, cook, uh, drop cooked pork chop, but we're going to make that 100%. I know, tiny, nice. yes. tiny, right? Tiny percent. <laughs> tiny percent. So you can increase the drops by these blocks here. We're just going to press a couple times to get to 100. 100% chance. Here we go. So right now it's only set for natural drop, which means if you're out in survival and you see a pig, it'll drop it. However, uh, for the sake of ease and everything else, we're gonna make it so egg drops also drop it, spawner drops also drop it, and breeding drops also drop it. But you get, so, the, you get the choice based on your server. You get to pick what you yeah. want to have these drops. Exactly. So you can just have it as natural pigs only. If you don't want people to spawn them in to like get tons of cooked pork, you can turn that off, but we're just gonna turn them all off for now. What about fair trade pigs? <laughs> uh, that's coming in another update. Don't worry about that. Um, okay. <laughs> so here we have a piggy and we're gonna kill him. Fireworks, got some I got pork, it, right? it's pork chop. Yeah. Let's make some more. Look at all the cooked pork chop. Oh, oh, you're gonna have to cook it. Me hungry. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of is in hmm. Subnautica, you get the the heated knife uh, yes. at a certain point, and yeah, when you kill that. the fish with it, it automatically cooks them for you. <laughs> I I love that so much. Um, so one thing you can do is maybe you don't like the uh, the effect, so we're gonna turn that off. So now we no longer have a drop effect. Let's kill some more pigs. Now they should just drop like normal. Yeah. Oh, nice. I think the effect is really good if you have it on a really low percentage, because then mm -hmm. you know for sure that you got that 0.1%. Uh, yeah, it makes it a little I more agree special. With that. But yeah, if you're gonna have a really high percent or a 100%, then uh, it might get a little obnoxious. Mm -hmm. And you can specify each specific drop. Uh, each one can have a different percent. You can have multiple drops. So you can make a drop like a block of diamond at like a 10% chance if you really want. But uh, maybe we cool. won't do that for here. <laughs> um, so let's do it for blocks now. So let's see, uh, we're gonna edit a block. We're going to add, how about um, glass? Sounds good. Okay. So if we click on glass, uh, I guess we're gonna... Oh, you mean What's if that? you break a glass, it, it's not just gonna break and make you feel really bad, you actually get something from it? Yeah. So let's do... That's nice. Let's do this. So we're going, uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a surprise for you guys. Let me know when it's ready. Okay, so I'm gonna make it so place drops also drop this as well as natural blocks. 
All right, I think I got it. Class. So start breaking some glass. Uh, hey! We ah, you get diamonds! <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> and like before, if you want to turn off that uh, that effect, just go into the same menu and turn it off. Make sure it's a red block. Now you just break it. Now you get now you get this. So like this could be a good way to just get like your glass back if you don't want to have a silk pickaxe, a silk touch pickaxe. Oh, that's true. yeah. That's, that's yeah. Really so true. Let's... the way that I'm yeah the way that I'm thinking about this is like my first thought looking at and playing with this plugin is RPG server, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. then you can have it's like you actually have to go out and farm uh, mobs like if you're playing like a JRPG or something, uh, and then there's like that five percent chance that you get the health potion from one of them or something like that. That's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool. If you have like maybe a, a really cool sword that you can get only from facing the dragon, but it's still like a 10% drop or something. Yeah, Ooh. there's a lot of different things you could do to, to make this like really live up to its potential. And I want to know what you guys in the comments are going to use it for, or if you've already used it. Please tell us. Yeah, so go ahead and Drop a comment below. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so funny.